Hey folks, Doc here. I'm um, going to make gravlax today. Gravlax, that means fish that's been buried in the ground. But we don't do it that way anymore. These days we take 100 grams of salt, 50 grams of sugar, and 20 grams of coarsely cracked black pepper. And we mix that up. And we take a nice piece of salmon and we check it for bones because we don't want bones in the final dish. Is that a bone there? Yes, it is. Well, in this case, we may have a bone in the final dish because I can't get that bad boy out. Just a, a little bit of this down on the bottom, just to have a little cure at the bottom. And we're going to put the salmon in, and on top of that, we're going to put a generous portion of the salt and peppercorn mix. Get that all over. Next, we put down a very generous helping of fresh dill. And that will be the, uh, apart from the uh, pepper, that will be one of the major flavorings. And we also want to layer down some nice lemon. This is one lemon, just sliced very, very thin. And we can just put the whole thing on there. And then another layer of, actually, we'll put a layer of more salt on there and pepper. And more of the dill. Get that spread out nicely. And then you want to flip this over and uh, put actually. That's perfect. And then we'll put the rest of the salt on top of there. And then just spread it out. Give her hands a little wash. And now, we want to bring some plastic wrap up and around it. Like this. It's not going to seal perfectly, but that's okay. We've got another layer here. You know, we bring that layer up and around, and we want to put that down like that. This layer up and around, nice and tight. It forms a nice little package. And then what we're going to do. is I will put a plate on top of here, similar to this one, and some weights, put it in the refrigerator, and let it go for a couple days. And uh, after that, I will show you the Gravlox, and uh, you'll see the final product. Hey folks, Doc here. Well, our Gravlox has had, oh, several days in the refrigerator now, and it's time to take this apart. And, uh, 
I have a cold, so I can't really smell anything to tell you how wonderful this is. <clears throat> but I'm thinking it's not quite ready yet. I'm going to be putting some more salt on here. and uh, yeah. The edges are perfect. Um, it seems that the, the internal components haven't quite received enough salt. That's looking like. So I'm going to take a look at this bottom one. Let's see if we really need to do anything additional. This one seems to be perfectly fine. It's this top one that looks like it did not get enough salt. So what I'm going to do is uh, resalt it. And then in a couple days we'll come back and see if it's uh, any better. Hey folks, just want to give you a little idea how much liquid there was that came off of that fish. Um, now to be fair there is also a, a pretty good handful of dill and the lemons but the lemons seem pretty wet still and well the dill is ugh, pretty wet too. So I think most of this liquid came out of the fish. And there we have our little uh, package of Gravelox rewrapped with uh, fresh salt and sugar in there and a little black pepper. I put the dill and the lemon back in and uh, hopefully tomorrow this will be done. Um, I'm surprised it's worked out for me every time before. Obviously when you put something on camera things aren't going to work out the way you expect them. But <clears throat> I guess I want you to see that anyway. A little embarrassing but I think Hey folks, it's Doc again. Well, we're going to try one more time to see, pardon my arms, to see if uh, we've got this Gravelox done finally. So, let's unwrap it. It's already expelling a lot of juices again. Um, I suppose that's a good thing since it wasn't quite done when we unwrapped it yesterday. Okay, oh, that looks done. That looks done indeed. All right, let's see this other part. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely done. All right, now what we need to do is give this a quick rinse, and uh, I will be back in a moment. Here's the Gravlox, and the way you deal with this is to slice off a very thin piece, and we're going to taste this. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe just a touch bit overdone. It's a little bit drier than I made last time, probably because of the extra day. But um, yeah, it tastes good. We'll get rid of that peppercorn, that's going to hurt. Yeah. That's perfectly acceptable. So now, how do you use Gravlox? Well, pardon my reach here bringing a few extras to the cast of yummies. This is one way you can use it. And you have to be careful. Um, eventually you're going to come down to the skin and the skin is definitely not yummy. But one way I like to eat this is to load it up onto a cracker. Hopefully not break the cracker like I just did. Put a small bit of sour cream on there, put a few pieces of green onion. Mm. Oh. Okay, I wish you could be here. I wish you could have some of that. It's really good. Definitely, definitely, definitely 
you guys need to make this. You're not going to regret it. Make sure you get good fresh fish. Um, if, you, if you can know your fishmonger, it's better. I just went to a normal grocery store and picked this up. Um, not always the best idea. This was wild salmon, not farm raised. Um, six one half a dozen of the other, really. I think the farm raised has a less intense flavor, but it's possibly um, a bit cheaper. Anyway, have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this film, and uh, we'll see you next time.